Hello, I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. I'm not in front of the map today, guys. I'm actually at the premiere for Terry Gilliam's The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. And we're speaking to Terry Gilliam and Lily Cole about their experiences making the film, as well as their opinions on the influence of technology on our ability to imagine. A thousand years ago, Dr. Parnassus made a deal with the devil. Stop! Now, a mysterious outsider. Can you put a price on your dreams? We'll take the traveling show beyond their imaginations. The extraordinary Dr. Parnassus. We're here with Terry Gilliam and Molly. And she'll be asking me some very pertinent and possibly embarrassing questions. Maybe. So. In the film, there seems to be a commentary on uh, the obsession with material wealth. Um, we're also obsessed with our iPods and phones. And do, do you think that um, inhi inhibits our ability to really use our imaginations? I think it kind of busies up your brain. Mm -hmm. You're so busy calling your friends. You're so busy texting. You're so busy looking at things. You don't have time to slow down and look at the wonder the world has out there. This world that we live in is full of enchantment for those with eyes to see it. Chicken! What do you think about the advantages that technology has, like self-distribution online? The difficulty is, depends what you want to do. If you want to make movies, you need money. Mm -hmm. And so if it's going to go online, you've got to find a way of getting money when it goes online right. so you can make your next one. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And the web has been so free and so fun for so long. Uh, one is going to start learning or, or inventing systems that allow people to actually pay for what they're getting. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you make a deal with the devil for? Oh, that's a tricky one. I haven't found the thing yet I'm willing to sell my soul for. That's my problem. I mean, maybe it is I don't have a soul to sell. Um, I, that may be my problem, basically. But Some weights already has yours. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I spend so much of my life listening to his music, so he probably has sucked a lot of my soul out in the course of that. God, I love a betting man. So what was it like working with Terry Gilliam? Very unusual, very exciting. One of the most kind of uh, strange and interesting characters I've met. <laughs> and um, and every, day, every day was like a rebirth. <laughs> every day was new. So in the film, there seems to be sort of commentary on the obsession with material wealth. The world is beautiful. Hmm. Do you think that really has an effect on our ability to imagine? Um, I think it can do, for sure. Uh, I grew up without a TV and without video games, and I don't know if that's why I had a very imaginative childhood, but it certainly meant you were forced to make things with the bare essentials, you know? Yeah. And was constantly making cakes or cards or houses or, you know, paintings, whatever it was, or plays. You had to use your imagination. Do you think that sort of affected your career choices? It certainly gave me a passion for performing and acting and making things, and I still have that passion, so maybe you could relate the two. And what message do you hope people take away from seeing the film? Uh, I want them to each come away with a completely different one. Mm -hmm. I'm actually trying to encourage people to think for themselves, so hopefully the film has got enough dark areas, confusing areas, unanswered areas, that they've all come away with a different story. That's exactly what you want. <laughs> yep. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Terry and Lily had some interesting thoughts on the effects of technology on our ability to be creative. But what do you think? Does tech have an effect on our imagination? The film comes out this holiday season on December 25th, so let me know what you think when you see it. I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom.